And now we're going to mix it up even a little bit more by adding frames to the equation. Frames, you're going to remember, are fractions of a second. In video production, video cameras create or capture a series of frames uh, very, very quickly. And when we watch those frames quickly, that looks like video. Video doesn't move, if we remember. It's just a bunch of still pictures that flash very quickly. So each frame can now be added to our calculations. And we need to talk about fractions of a second at this point, because multiple frames go into one second. But first, just a little review about frames in general. So here is one frame of a piece of video I captured. I was shooting at the aquarium, and this is one frame. If I click, there's the next frame in the video. Here's my third frame, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So there are individual frames that make up a video. I can play the actual video by doing that. There's the rest of the video playing. Normally we don't see the individual frames because they happen so quickly, but I just wanted to do that quick demonstration to remind you of what frames look like. When we're editing, we do need to calculate frames, and before we can, we need to know what the frame rate is. Frames per second, you'll remember, is uh, the abbreviation we use for frame rate. The number of frames per second in a given piece of video is that piece of video's frame rate. Different kinds of video have different frame rates, as you'll remember from video 1A. So NTSC video, which is used in North America, has a 30 frame per second frame rate. Uh, if you're in Europe, or I think Asia, then you're working with PAL video, which is 25 frames per second. And these are simplifications, by the way. We're still in video one. If you're shooting in traditional film, that's at 24 frames per second, so different frame rates. But luckily, today's video cameras, which are almost all digital, can work with a variety of frame rates. You can probably switch your camera back and forth between NTSC or PAL, and many cameras today also have a film-like 24 frame per second frame rate if you want to get that film look, which a lot of video students do want to shoot in. So we might be having to handle different kinds of video in this class, and we might have to do different frame rates. How do you do math with different frame rates? Well, first of all, you got to know what the frame rate is. So let's say you've got three seconds of video, and that video is 30 frame per second video. The frame rate is 30 frames per second. What is that equal to in terms of the total number of frames? Well, 3 times 30 equals 90. 3 seconds at 30 frames per second. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 10 is uh, 90. <laughs> Excuse me, 3 times, what am I talking about? 3 times 30 is 90. 30, 60, 90. Let's move on. What if you have 2 seconds of 24 frame per second video? Well, that's a straight up multiplication. 2 times 24. For every second, you've got 24 frames. 2 seconds, so 2 times 24 frames, and that equals 48 frames. So let's keep going. What if you had 32 seconds of 24 frame per second video? Well, of course, you'd get out the calculator at that point and just punch in 32 times 24, and you're going to get 768. What if you needed to work backwards? What if there's a question on a test in this class that says you've got 110 frames of video and how many, oh, that by the way, that's 24 frame per second video. How many seconds of video do you have? 110 frames, 24 frames per second. How many seconds is that? Well, let's start by breaking down 4 times 24 equals 96. So 24 frames per second, we can fit 4 seconds of 24 FPS video, and that'll take up 96 of those frames. 96, 110. So take 110 minus 96, we've got 14 left over. That means we've got 4 seconds plus 14 left over in our 110 frames of 24 frame per second video. That's 110 frames, 24 second video equals 414. This is how we'd write it. This is uh, this is the, the correct time code writing. 4 seconds and 14 frames. That last number on the right in video time code is now frames. 4 seconds, 14 frames. It's about 4.5 seconds. Next, what if we had the same 110 frames, but now this is 30 frame per second video. How is that going to work out in terms of seconds? Well, it's not going to be the same, 4.5. Instead, we can do 4 times 30, but see, that's going to give us up to 120 frames. We've only got 110 frames, so there's going to be less than 4 seconds of video this time. So if we go down to 3 seconds of video, 3 times 30 equals 90, that's our 3 seconds, and now we just have to calculate what's left over. 
the 110 total frames minus the 90 that went into our three seconds gives us 20 leftover frames and that means 110 frames of 30 frame per second video is three seconds and 20 frames. So the same 110 frames, depending what the frame rate was, will be more or less time. Now, you can go do your own math. You should see some questions after this.